Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team here with another video for the division. This is going to be our Tuesdays with Alpha Team for this day, Tuesday, April 3rd, 2018. If you're unfamiliar with this video, we do one every week where we answer questions that, or comments that people ask in YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. So just use the hashtag Tuesdays with Alpha and we will get to that question. So we've got five questions this week. Let's get right in it. We're going to start with this first one from JP. He asks, just wants to know, how do you sort through your loot? What I mean is, what do you do? What do you keep and what do you discard? How can you, how can I distinguish what is good and what's bad? Thank you. So here's how I do it. I, if it's a weapon, I check the talents because even if it's a little low on damage, you can always just optimize it. In the long run, you can optimize it. So I always check my weapon talents first. What do I end up using? It all really comes down to your gameplay. How do you play? Are you more run and gun? Are you more tanky? Are you more retreaty? Are you more techs? So like you gotta figure out how you play. So I play pretty versatile. I like to play a lot of tech, but I also like to little do a little shooting depending on the build. So figure out what build you want to run with and keep all the things for that build. Pick, find that classified version of it, crush it that way. If it's weapons, check the talents. Look for the best talents and keep those weapons. If it's gear, look for all the attributes that you want. You know, like uh, ammo capacity or if you want health on kill. But it all really comes down to figure out how you want to run your guy, how you want to play the game, and then build around that. Outside of that, the really it's really too general of a question for me to say, like how I specifically do it, because it all depends on what weapon I'm saving or what piece of gear. So figure out your game style, and then keep all the things that would that would uh, complement that game style. If you like running gunning, get you a nice lightweight M4 or a good, really good AR, or even a good SMG. If you like the way the Predator Mark works, find all the Predator Mark gear you can get. Keep that. If you like, uh, if you have a run a really strong heal, find that first aid self heal mod. If you if you rely on your crit damage, find crit damage mods. Things like that. So just figure out your gameplay and work on that from there. All right. Next question comes from Mad Dog. He says, "Can you please explain that heal boxes cannot stack healing? Too many new players keep throwing auto reses heal boxes on top of tactician reclaimer immunizers." not knowing that the heal rate by the weaker can block the heal rate by the stronger, thanks. Now this is true. The, if you have a support station and another support station on top of it, you don't. they don't stack. It takes the one from the stronger one and uses that. Now, if you're in a heal box and you're getting rezzed by the box, you can't shoot a first aid revive at someone. It won't res them. So you gotta keep that in mind too. So the best thing to do is if you see a box, if you see someone in a reclaimer station, just don't try to don't try to shoot a res at him and don't try and put another box by him. Either let him get himself up by the station or go pick him up manually. And vice versa. If you see one someone down, you can shoot a res at him with a first aid, but don't throw a box on him. And if you see if you have a box and you're trying to figure out where to put it, just don't put it on top of another one. The best thing to do is kind of like overlap them a little bit, so that way you can go in and out in between both of them. So if one's a good immunizer and one's a good for healing, you can just kind of go back and forth between them. So that's the best bet. Just kind of like stagger your stagger your support stations. Only use your first aids for healing. Make sure you don't overlap those boxes too much and you should be fine. All right, next question comes from Shampai. How do you get Predator gear? So Predator, Predator's Mark gear is classified gear. Well, Predator's Mark gear is part of a gear set. So I'm gonna, I know there's a lot of people watching this that have played Division a million times and you guys are already aware of all this, but I'm gonna break it down for anyone who doesn't know. Classified gear is kind of tealish, a tealish color. Not the green that you get from the uncommon gear, but it's like teal, bluish, bluish green. That classified gear, if you have four pieces of it, gives you lets you unlock set bonuses. Actually, at yeah, two two pieces of a specific gear set will let you unlock set bonuses that give you perks. You know, like faster healing or more ammo or more damage with a weapon. So if you're looking for predator gear, that comes in basic gear set items and also classified gear sets. Every gear set has a classified version of it. 
I would recommend going with Classified for sure. If you have four pieces of the regular gear, you can unlock up to four set bonuses. But if you want to unlock all six set bonuses, you need all Classified gear. The way you get specific Classified gear is through global events like Outbreak, Assault, Strike, and Ambush. And if you want specifically Predator's Mark, that happens during global event Strike. So keep, that, keep an eye out for that. If there is no global event happening, you can still get classified gear that drops randomly from um, caches, last stand caches, survivor caches, underground caches, skirmish caches. They drop randomly. The rate, the rate is actually pretty low too. It's, I think it's uh, 1%. So they might drop from that. It'll be considered a bonus item in a cache. Or you can kill bosses, named enemies, in the open world or the dark zone. They have a higher percentage, a 3% chance to drop in the open world and a 5% chance to drop in the dark zone. So there are 14 open world, 15 open world named bosses. You can go around and farm them and you have a 3% chance from each one to get them to drop a piece of classified gear. Now it won't necessarily be Predator's Mark, but it will be some classified gear. If you're looking specifically for Predator's Mark and nothing else, you'll have to wait for the global event strike. I hope that helped. Alright guys, next question comes from Renee Guti. I guess I'll tell you today. Guti. Uh, great stuff. Thoughts on best talents for MDR to run with Pred. So if you're running Predator's Mark, uh, if you're running a classified version of Predator's Mark and you want to maintain all those set bonus items, set bonus uh, boosts, then you're going to have to run a lot of stamina. And if you're playing, or I'm sorry, yeah, that's right, a lot of stamina. And if you're playing in last hand of skirmish, that gets marked down. So you have to run all stamina. Like every one of your pieces of gear has to have stamina, and all of your mods except one have to have stamina. With one exception, you can make you can switch one to firearms and get a little bit of firearms too. So. If you're not running that, you can run up to 4,000 firearms and still maintain 9,000 stamina with mods and everything. So if you're going to be using this in the dark zone in the open world, I'd recommend going with something like, for the MDR, I'd probably go with, to be honest, I'd probably go with Brutal and probably Brutal and Deadly and then just work on a build that's going to have a lot of crit chance. That's good. That's where you're going to get the most out of it. So the best, the best things you can unlock are like Brutal, Deadly, Self Preserve, Sustain, uh, Intense, I think. And I think that's it because you're running so much stamina, you don't really have any electronics and you don't have that high of firearms to unlock some really serious, serious mods. So I would, me personally, I use my Predator's Mark in Last Down a lot. And uh, what I run, I do run an MDR sometimes. So what I run is self preserve and sustained, because those are the only two that I can unlock. Because after you go into last stand, your stuff gets mid maxed down. So I can unlock those two and only those two whenever I take it to last stand. So that's what I run. And if you think about it, running self preserve on on Predator's Mark on the the AR, because you could have the potential to do so much high crit damage, you're going to get a lot of heals back from that. So it's a good call. It's a help. It's just to help keep you alive mainly. But if you're asking me specifically what I would run with the MDR and Predator, it's definitely self preserve and sustained. But if you want some more actual firepower, I would go Brutal or Deadly or both. Hope that helps. All right, next question, next and last question, comes from Ike Corte. I have a very similar build using Seeker Mines. He's talking about the Tactician's build and turret. The Seeker's a turret, super deadly, blah, blah, blah. So at the end, he asks, uh, how do you manage to play versus people and not get destroyed. So he breaks it down like he uses his uh, his tech to kind of just demolish the NPCs. But how do I do it in Last Stand and Skirmish? The best the best thing I can tell you, if you're going to run Tacticians in Last Stand or Skirmish, you have to get rid of the Seekers. They're just not as effective in there. I would go Sticky Bomb and Bullet Turret or Sticky Bomb and Flame Turret is what I would do. And the best way to not get destroyed is is to use your tools like we use the tools you got i would the best way i can know to stay alive is i drop my bullet turret and then i just stay around it i don't leave it even if it's in an open area i'll stand by it because your turret will always shoot anyone approaching you and it'll always have your back so what i do is i drop the turret and when people start approaching the bullet turret goes after them and i kind of just 
evade fire, go back and forth until I have my sticky bomb. And once I have that, I shoot it at their feet. I never shoot it at them because it's really easy to miss. I shoot it at their feet or by their feet, near their feet. If they're in cover, I can shoot it near their cover and it will still hit them. The sticky bomb is devastating. And then once they're staggered by that, throw some bullets on them. Now I know it's not practical because you don't have that much, you don't have that much firearms obviously if you're running that much, if you're running tacticians, you're running all that electronics. So just keep that in mind. So like bullet turret to help get your back, bob and weave, sticky bomb whenever you get it and just lay some bullets down after the sticky bomb hits. You'll be able to do some good damage and the sticky bomb is either gonna finish them or the bullet turret will. But overall, just bob and weave. Bob and weave, man. <laughs> just move around. But never leave your the comfort of your turret. Your turret's always going to have your back unless you're not near it. So drop it, put it elevated somewhere, put it in a place where it's going to actually get a good lines of sight in every direction, and you'll be fine. And then just bob and weave, shoot when you can, get that sticky bomb out there, and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, that's all the questions this week. Hopefully this helped, and uh, if you guys have any questions for me, just make sure you use the hashtag TuesdaysWithAlpha. Use that hashtag in... Send us a message in this, the comments of this video or any video on our channel, and we'll make sure we get to that question on to our next week's Tuesday with, uh, Tuesdays with Alpha Team. Also, you can do that same hashtag on Twitter or Facebook, and we'll, we check them all. We take the most popular questions that we think are going to answer the most questions for everyone and put those in the video. So that's going to do it, guys. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from RAGaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions you want to give us any feedback. It's always appreciated. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Yeah, game on.